Welcome back to my workshop. Now today is the first video of four videos, so a quadrilogy of how I made these little gnomes. Okay, now this is one I made for uh, making it out of the woods challenge a little while ago. Uh, this one's a tea light holder. Um, but basically I've turned the gnomes bodies and the hats on the lathe. Uh, and now I've made four other gnomes for pre-Christmas gifts. Now what I've done is I've cut out the bit where I'm doing it, turning on the lathe, uh, and I'll show you how I assemble the rest. So let's crack on and see what we got. Okay, so this is the uh, first video. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make someone who does uh, clay pigeon shooting. Now, obviously I've made the body here. Now I've made this out of a bit of some peely, uh, and this is just covered in a little bit of wax at the moment. Uh, it's quite weighty, but it's basically a big egg shape and that's gonna be the body. Okay. <clears throat> Now the hat for this little fella, uh, made a, a, like a top hat, okay? Uh, the same piece of Sapili, uh, and again, this is just covered in a little bit of wax. So that sits on there like that. Okay, uh, now the nose and the two hands. Now I made these, again, out of the same piece of Sapili. Uh, and if you want to see how I turn these little teeny tiny balls, okay? Uh, Check this video out here. Uh, it shows you how to make the balls. Quite dangerous, but yeah, it's the only way I can make round balls. Um, then we've obviously got three dowels. I've salvaged these out of uh, another project. Uh, they're going to be used for fixing the hands and the face or the nose. Uh, and the little character, oh, come back. The little character shotgun, okay, is this little fella. Okay, now I made that just out of a little piece of, again, the same bit of Sapili, just quickly carved into a shotgun shape. And uh, these were just a couple of little pieces of metal rod uh, that used to look a bit like this. Okay, it's just some metal hooks I got. Okay, so I chopped them down, stuck two of them together, and I've ended up with this little fella. Okay. So, first thing I need to do, oh yeah, and this is going to have this kind of beard, okay? Because it's for a, a gentleman with a grey beard. Right, okay, the first thing I've got to do is drill some holes in the hands and the nose so I can put the dowels in. All right, so the dowels I'm going to use are these ones here. Uh, they are just under 8mm thick, okay, diameter. So I'm going to use an 8mm drill uh, and then quickly bang a hole in each one of these. Okay, so now I have my three little balls, my uh, nose and two hands, uh, each with a little hole in it, like this. Uh, now, I'm not going to stick these in yet, I want to do a dry fit, so each of those fits like this. Okay, now I have to decide whereabouts on this little fella they're going to go. Okay, so to decide where the nose goes, uh, basically you put the hat on, uh, and you sort of decide where it's going to be. I think fairly straight, I think will be good in this case. Now this will eventually be stuck on. Uh, so basically we want to find out, pick our nose, <laughs> pick our nose, pick our nose, and it's got to go just at the base of where the hat goes. Okay, so anywhere there, get you a little sharpie, and make a little tiny dot, okay? It's not critical, but it does alter the character of what it's going to look like. So, got my little dot, let's drill another 8 mil hole, and then stick our nose in. <laughs> right, okay, because this little fella's going to be holding our little shotgun here, uh, what I want to do is obviously have one hand about there and the other one 
probably more in the middle of his body. Okay, so he can actually hold the shotgun there and it rests on this hand. Okay, so basically what I need to do is first of all, just stick one of them in. So we'll go about there. We'll get this one in place and then we can adjust for the other one. Same principle again. Now I'm using a bread point drill, okay? So it's got a nice little point on the end. So we get a nice clean circle. All right, let's drill the next hole. That'll do. Right, so what I want to do now is I want him to be holding that in that hand. So I'm going to drill another slightly smaller hole, uh, which is obviously big enough to take the stock of the, uh, the gun here. Okay, so I'm just going to drill another little hole in this one so we can hold that and then we can decide where the other hand goes. Okay, so he's now holding this. So we can decide where this one's going to go. So we can be holding both. Okay, so I've decided where the second hole is. Uh, that's where his other hand's going to go. So the little gun goes in here. Now what I want to do is have it so he's got this resting on top of his hand. So what I need to do is just do a little groove in this hand about where the shotgun's going to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just quickly file a groove in there so it looks like he's holding it. Okay, so now I have my groove cut out here. Okay, this is wide enough <coughs> for the shotgun. Okay, that pops in here. Then the shotgun can go in his other hand and rest on that one. Okay. Ta da Right, let's sort out his beard. Okay, to sort out his beard, uh, what we need to do is place his hat on where it's gonna go. <clears throat> and then using a pencil, just a normal pencil, I do a very small line around the top so you know where the top of the hair has got to go to. Okay, don't do it too thick. Okay, but now I've got a line around here. So, what I need to do now is get me a beard. Okay, so what I've done here is I've made a uh, paper template out of a piece of tissue. Uh, it took about three attempts. I finally got the shape I wanted. Now, obviously I've got my line around here, around the top, let's take his nose off. So the template has got a curve to it like this. So when it goes on the head, it should line up roughly with the line you've drawn. Okay, it doesn't have to meet at the back yet because uh, you can fill that in afterwards. Okay, so doing it this way, you end up with a little template which saves you cutting up loads of uh, fur and mucking it up. Right, so what we need to do now is transfer that onto the back of our fur. Right, so the best way to do it is obviously lay your uh, template on the back of the fur. Try and minimize the amount of fur you cut. So I'm gonna use this straight edge here uh, and then just basically using a Sharpie, just basically mark it along approximately where it's got to go. Okay, like this. Okay, so I've got a rough line here. Now, when you're cutting fur, cut it from the non-furry side. If you cut it from this side, you end up trimming off all of the furriness. Okay, so what you want to do is cut it from this side and keep it as shallow as you can. Okay, so cutting it from this side, you still end up with all of these fluffy bits. 
If you cut it from this side, you'll end up tripping those off. Okay, looks like a beard. <laughs> okay, so we've got our little beard here. Uh, what we've got to do now is stick in our nose and decide whereabouts this is going to go. Okay, and then cut a small cut down here so the beard wraps around the nose. Okay, so just do that. So when the nose goes in, the beard goes around the nose like this. All right, so we're now ready to stick the uh, the beard on. Now the, the curved edge that we know goes around the top of his head. Uh, what we're going to do is star bond. Okay, <clears throat> and then put a little bit of activator with it as well. Now I'll leave a link to this in the description if I can. Uh, really good stuff. Right. Quick check. Yeah, looks about right. Okay, right. Now I think we can probably stick his nose in and then stick his two hands in as well, and then we'll trim up his beard. Right, so again, uh, to stick the nose on, what I'm gonna do is use my star bond again. Okay, uh, just put a little bit in the nose. Okay, spray a little bit of the accelerator on the dowel. And stick the dowel in. This should give us this. The same again where his nose is. Okay, a little bit around the beard as well. Spray, spray. And then shove. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Okay. Now it's stuck. Hello. Right, so where the hands uh, have got to go on top of his beard here, what I'm going to do is lift up his beard. Oh, excuse me, sir. Okay, and see where the two holes are. Now I'm just going to get my little scalpel, or uh, let's use a pair of scissors, and just make a couple of little cuts where they've got to come through. You won't be able to see those because the fur will close up around it. Uh, and then same again, sticking both of our dowels, again with a bit of star bond. Okay, so those two are stuck in, so now I should be able to pull the beard over the top of those. And hopefully, there we go, there's one. And there's the other one. All right, so now these can be stuck with the little shotgun onto there. Okay, but these two stuck in the right place now. <clears throat> Just put a little tiny dab of Star bond on there, a little bit in here. Okay, and then up. And oh, 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 oh. Alright, so he's holding his shotgun. Marvellous. Right, so before I stick his hat on, uh, let's sort our base. I'm just going to use this piece of oak, which, uh, yeah, it's oak made out of little bits of oak. Uh, literally, I've got to get four out of this. It's about 400 mil long. 100mm each, chop this and then shave the bottom and then I'll know how high he stands and I can trim his beard. Right, let's cut this.
Okay, so the base has now been uh, profiled on the edges. Uh, just giving it a quick coat of uh, this stuff, natural beeswax. Got a circle cut out on the bottom, that's where my little token's gonna go. And also, there's a countersunk hole. It goes all the way through. I've drilled a hole in his bottom, so a screw goes through this into here. So I'll screw that, and then we can stick his out on. Right, so that's it. It's the first of the uh, gnome series that he's done now. Uh, the little shooter gnome is done, and here he is with his little shotgun. I've given him a little bit of a, a trim up on his beard. It's quite nice. Okay, little oak base here, and he's screwed to the bottom. Okay, right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, join me for the next video, and I'll be making a different gnome. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. Ah, look, got it all on my fingers. Give it a couple of seconds. Whoa. Right, so that's it. <clears throat>